I'm extremely lucky to get to play some of the ukuleles I review on this channel. Really lucky. Keep watching. Yeah, welcome back. It's got a ukulele review day. As ever, this is your summary video review. See the link below this video to take you to the website where you'll see pictures, scores, and a lot more detail about the instrument. This just kind of cans it down into a short video. Thank yous running across the bottom of the screen. Each week I give those out because these people donate to help keep the site going, and that's because I don't take any money from the brands or the stores because I couldn't give you impartial reviews if that was the case. And if you like what you see on the channel, help me get that subscriber count up. Went over the next last hump a couple of days days ago. Uh, really nice to keep get, keep that going up. That would really help me out. Okay, yeah, I'm really lucky with some of the instruments I get to look at. Really am lucky. And this one's been loaned to me, as a lot of them are. Um, and it's such a famous brand. This is the Kamaka HF4D Baritone Ukulele. Kamaka, if you don't know about them, go and have a look and, and read. Um, I mean, they are probably one of the most revered ukulele brands on the planet. They've been making for over a hundred years in Hawaii. They're all made in Hawaii in a small family-run workshop. They're sublime instruments. They're played by people like Jake Shimabukuro. Um, so it doesn't need my endorsement. It's really odd to review a Kamaka because they're so revered. I mean, I will look at it objectively. Um, and it's nice to have a baritone back on the site because I don't get enough of these. Um, and that's not through want of trying. There just aren't as many baritones about as other scales. Um, okay, this is uh, top of the line stuff from Kamaka in size, but also this is the deluxe version. Their instruments come in either standard that have no decoration or deluxe, which I'll come on to. Um, this comes in three flavours as well. This one, which has a spruce top, which is what the S, uh, 4DS stands for in the name. Um, but also they do one in a cedar and they do one in all koa. Uh, there is koa on this one being a Hawaiian instrument because this is Hawaiian koa back and sides. Really, really nice looking wood. Um, and I think it pairs actually with that spruce on the top really nicely. It's very nice spruce. I don't tend to like spruce. This is my uh, subjective point. I don't tend to like spruce on ukuleles because I find they make bright instruments, uh, small little bright instruments, because ukuleles are diminutive, even brighter. Um, saying that, this is a baritone. So this is going to have a deeper body because it's tuned in a lower register, but it's also a bigger body. Um, so I kind of get that because that brightness might sort of soften it off. I have played baritones that are made of, say, all mahogany, and I find them far too woody and a bit earthy. Um, so I, I get that. The bridge, extremely tidy, that. Made of ebony with that little white trim on it, and that is a compensated top new bone saddle. It's a tie bar, as you can see. That's really nicely done. That ebony almost looks like uh, rich light, but it isn't. It's ebony. The deluxe, as I say, comes about because of the decor, because this has this rope marquetry around the top. Uh, and koa binding around the top as well and around the sound hole. I think that works really well with the uh, with the spruce as well. I think it gives it an air of a really classy looking almost Spanish guitar look to it that I really like. The finish on um, Kamakas is always worth mentioning. I think they use nitro cellulose and it's not grain filled either so you can see where the um, the finish is basically soaked into parts of the wood. It's hard for me to show you. Um, and because it's done by hand in a small workshop, all Kamakas I've ever seen do have very, very small little imperfections in the finish. It doesn't bother me uh, because it shows me that it's been handmade and it is really nicely done actually. But I would say if you want a complete mirror finish gloss, Kamaka wouldn't be your choice, I don't think. You'd have a look at Canalea probably. But I like it for what it is and I like nitro finishes because they age better, they allow the wood to vibrate more freely and breathe. Uh, it's not plastic, basically. So that's nice. Inside, <clears throat> as expected, very, very thin, skinny little braces in there. Uh, notch linings, no mess. Uh, all very nice so far. The neck is made of mahogany, and it looks like a single piece, which is a hell of a bit of wood to get a single piece out of, so that is nice. And typically Hawaiian, 
tapers off to a really, really flat, shallow profile at the nut. It is 38 mil wide at the nut and 32 from D to E. So that is nice too. Topping the neck is an ebony fingerboard, which is really, really supremely black in color and very, very smooth. There is a bit of, um, you can see one or two tool mark, tooling marks down here, nothing major. You'll see it in the photographs on the website. I mention them because they're there, but also it is, as I say, it's a family run business. It's not made by a robot in a factory. So that doesn't bother me. Frets, one, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 to the body, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 in total. It's not edge bound, so you see the edges of the frets, but there are no sharp fret ends at all. Position dots face out 5, 7, 10, 12, 15. You get dots on the side as well. All right, new bone nut up there, cut very well, up to a crown headstock with the traditional Kamaka logo, and that's faced in more koa. That's really nice koa up there. Um, I can't say that this is derivative, like I normally say about crown-shaped headstocks, because Kamaka have probably been using them longer than anybody else in existence. It's theirs. Um, so I've got no problem with that, and I think it looks really nice on Kamaka's very, very extenuated point at the top. The tuners are made in Germany. They are Schallers. Uh, really, really good tuners with Koa buttons. Um, that's really good. Love those. Uh, it comes with Kamaka's own choice of strings, which are um, Kamaka black nylon with two wound strings on the base. And like all Kamaka instruments, you also get this excellent Kamaka hard case with a really nice plush lining inside. Look, it's really, as I say, well, how do you review a Kamaka instrument? I'm not going to gush over it totally because that's why I'm pointing out things like the, the little imperfections in the finish, the uh, tooling marks on that neck. Um, I don't tend to like spruce, but we'll see how it goes on the baritone. It is um, really, really well put together, as I expected. It's not heavy. It is uh, 785 grams. Obviously, it's heavier than a lot of other ukuleles because it's a baritone. But bear in mind that Lanakai I looked at recently, that was about 750 grams, and that was a concert. This is 785, it's a baritone, so that makes it pretty light. Um, it's certainly comfortable to hold, really nicely balanced as well, all Kamakas are. Uh, it's, a, it's a very nice to hold instrument. And I like the feel of this finish. I think it is nitro, as I say. The one thing that caused me a sharp intake of breath is the price. Kamaka are not cheap instruments. They're handmade in the USA. I get that. But this is 2499. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money for a ukulele. I, I would never spend that much money on a ukulele. Putting that in context, I know it's USA made. I know it's very well made. Um, you could buy a Gibson J45 acoustic guitar made in the USA or a Martin acoustic guitar made in the USA for less than that. That seems a little bit too highly priced to me. What do I know? People buy them. <laughs> People buy them just because I wouldn't. People do. Anyway, we've got to have a play. And again, I'm, I'm afraid my subject, subjectivity has to come into this as well because I'm not uh, actually a huge fan of baritones. Uh, sorry to say that if you're a baritone fan, but I, to me, they are too close to guitars in range, and I've got guitars, but there we are. What I will say is I also don't think they really particularly suit strumming that well. It's a finger picker's instrument, isn't it? The volume, <laughs> yeah, really, really loud. The sustain is incredibly good. Oh, I can feel it here. I can feel it in my chest. I can feel it in my forearm down here. It's a really peppy, bouncy instrument.
I don't like Kamaka strings. I don't like nylon strings, so I find it a bit flabby. <laughs> As I say, how do you review a Kamaka? They've been making instruments for over 100 years. They're revered. They're seriously good instruments. This is a seriously good instrument. I get that. Um, some people will look at some of those little tooling marks and say they shouldn't be there. I don't really mind things like that because it is a, uh, it is a very much a handmade instrument um, from one of the best known brands and oldest brands. Um, I personally don't really go for baritones, but you know, a lot of people do. I think the price, um, I don't understand why it's so much. What a, tell me what I've got wrong. Um, maybe I have got it wrong. Uh, but I think 2499, um, you can get a damn good acoustic guitar made in the USA for that money. Uh, and I don't mean factory stuff, I mean put together by hand. Um, but what do I know? As I say, people do pay that kind of money. And if, if you wanted a treat baritone, I think personally I'd go with the Koa, all Koa, uh, but then maybe that would sound too dark. I don't know, I've not played it, but the spruce is working here. Although, as I say, I don't think it's a strummer's instrument, um, but picked, it's sublime. Absolutely wonderful to finger pick it. And um, I'm rambling. The Kamaka HF4D, 4DS in fact, with the spruce top, Koa solid back and sides, made in H Honolulu in Hawaii. Um, you know the brand, you know the brand, the double K. Um, yeah, thanks very much to Southern Ukulele Store who loaned me this one. This is probably the most expensive instrument I've ever reviewed. Um, so very kind of them to let me have a go of this one and review it. Um, it kind of reviews itself, doesn't it, really? It's Kamaka. They don't need my endorsement. Uh, thanks very much to Alex at Southern Ukulele Store for sending this over. It's a joy. Um, okay, I am back. Got some real cracking instruments. Again, courtesy of Alex at U Southern Ukulele Store. Coming up in the next couple of weeks, too. This is just the start of a trio of instruments. I don't want to prejudge them. I haven't played the other ones yet, but just looking at them tells me that they're pretty special. Um, thanks very much for watching. If you like what you see, give us, do us a favour and subscribe to the channel. Go carefully this week, stay safe, and I will see you very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.